Hi once again. Uh, I've been asked to upload a, a, a short tutorial on how to um, tunnel RDP. Now obviously I've shown this uh, how to do this on the, the Windows applications and I also put the, the notes on how to do it in the Linux uh, distros as well. Uh, but uh, here's a short video on how to, to do it. So what I want to first do is uh, I am running this under Sigwin. Uh, on my Windows box, but again, it, it is the same commands. So what I want to do is it's SSH onto the box that I want to uh, onto the network or a Linux SSH server that's on a, a remote network somewhere. Uh, so I'm gonna log onto this box. Now this is all on my local network. However, it's exactly the same for any external network. So what I'm gonna do is tap capital L, and I'm gonna type in a port number. That I want to listen to on my local machine. I'm going to put 3392 on this uh, and then I'm going to enter the IP. Again, this would be the internal IP of the machine you want to connect to. And then colon 3389, which is a standard port for RDP. So I'm going to connect to that, enter the password, and I'm in. Now, again, uh, I'm running the Sigwin, but I've got my RDP because I'm on a Windows box. So if you can see there now, I want to uh, connect to the local port of 127.0.0.1 Now as you can see the connection that I want to connect to is 2.200 So if I type in there now for instance 1 I won't get a connection as you can see But if I type in 2 there now and connect I type in a username and password then as you can see it's now starting to connect to the remote machine so I'll just okay that's me logging in there at the moment as you can see it says up the top there the port uh, that it's connecting to it's obviously the address that it's connecting to as well obviously this machine is uh, is loading up at the moment I'm just waiting for that to load uh, and once that loads I will so the I'll just move out the way there's a few things on there that I don't really want people to see of course uh, so I just load up a command prompt on that machine and what I'm going to do now is if I move this across again and I type in IP config you can see that it's actually 200 for this machine okay so uh, again that is how you connect to uh, a you ch tunnel an RDP session uh, over SSH and I hope this video helps. Thank you.